Warp activated. Fuel status marginal. So uh, I just want to make a video about the um, another NES mini alternative, yet another one. Um, the uh, Hyperkin Retron HD1, which is uh, nothing new. Most people already know about this thing. It is the uh, latest um, HDMI-enabled clone NES system from Hyperkin. Um, I would say it's the probably the best clone HDMI system under a hundred dollars you know that I mean basically nes clone uh, not something that plays a lot of different games so to speak um this basically replaces your nes uh with an hdmi and can play pretty much all the games um but there are some caveats um i've had no trouble putting any game in here except for uh blaster master but i think it's because i'm having trouble cleaning it because there was a few games that wouldn't work when I um, went to clean them. And um, and then once I cleaned them, uh, they worked. And that same thing happened with Blaster Master. I did get it working one time, but I have yet to have been able to get it working again. I opened it up, I cleaned it, and cleaned it, and cleaned it. So other than that game, all my other games work fine. Um, but I don't have a million games. So, you know, we're totally talking about like 40 or 50 games at this point uh, that I was able to test. Um, but anyway, let me move on. If you don't have any games, and this is not a legal solution, obviously, neither is RetroPie, um, the only, and neither is if modding your NES Mini, those are all, uh, have, uh, dubious legalities depending on what games you're putting on and how you're playing it and what you already own, blah, blah, blah. But moving ahead, this is actually a kind of a neat alternative because it's simpler than setting up a RetroPie. I mean, let's face it. You know, it can be a pain in the ass getting the RetroPie system set up. Um, it's not rocket science or anything, but it's if there's somebody who, who is a customer who would want an NES Mini for the reasons why you might want one, one of the reasons is you just plug it in and it works. Well, this almost does that too. I mean, if you go to, if you get an, a Retron HD1, for th it's, they're 39 bucks if you can get them at retail. Um, I got one from Hyperkin Labs just last week. Um, they did charge me 12 bucks shipping because I'm, um, I'm, I'm across the, uh, I'm on the other side of the country. So I, um, got it for pr probably like $52 when, after I paid for shipping. I didn't pay it. There was no tax, but $52. And then I got the one in 43 and one game, uh, super games, which even though it has less games is a lot better than the 401 which I had already had. That has some good games on it, but it really is missing well, like pretty much a good amount of the games that you would consider the games you'd want to have um, on a NES Mini or whatever. So, um, so, and there's a lot of weird games on here to make 401. There's a whole bunch of like weird, and there's some some um, repeats and whatnot. Uh, the 143 and 1 is straight up. It's like, uh, sometimes they'll call it the top 100 games or whatever. It really is. It, it, it has... Pretty much everything. Um, the Zelda is one of the games that you can where you can save games because there is a battery in it to save games. Um, and and with that said, um, you can uh, basically save the games. You can uh, pretty much do everything. It doesn't play uh, Castlevania three because that uses uh, extra hardware. There's Castlevania one and two. I think there's some extra hardware on that um, on that game. I actually opened mine up to because I was curious after I found that out. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna pull this off for a second, shut down, and kind of just show you the cartridge. You haven't seen it. Um, there it is, and I'll actually open it up. Uh, let's see here. And just with that right there. I'll just open it up real quick and show you what's inside of this puppy. And it has a regular uh, screws. 
unlike the um, the regular Nintendo cartridges, which you need the the special uh, hex screwdriver you know, adapter, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is not the recommended way to open up cartridges, like, but uh, you're gonna lose screws this way. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I don't usually do things the right way. So what am I gonna? What can you say? So here we go. I'm gonna open it up. Back up first. All right. There we go. All right. And here it is. And it's really, if you, if, I'm not going to open up the 401, but the 401 basically has like one chip on one side or one chip on the other side. And it's bit, it's much simpler than this. This has the lockout chip. I think it's the, I think it's this chip. It's one of these two chips. I think it's either this one or this one, but it has a lockout chip from what I understand. And it has some, um, you know, member, some kind of memory for the save games. And of course the battery, which is, looks like it'd be easy to change. Um, there is one caveat with this, with this is you can, even though there's a bunch of games here that support saving, you can only save one, one it only can hold one file at a time. So if you're playing Zelda one, you got to finish Zelda one before you start a save game. As soon as you start a save game on another game, it'll delete the other save game, which can be, if you don't didn't know that can really be irritating. So we'll put this guy back, we'll put him back together. And I'll put the screws back on. And yeah, so the 143 and one has really does have like all the games you'd, you'd want. I've never my first multi cart was the 400 the 401, and I was a little disappointed. Um, by the way, the 401 appears to be the same exact exactly what was on I, I made another video of this mod I did for the um, um, this is the Chinese knockoff NES Mini and I put RetroPie in it well what was in it before was basically this was what was in here um, which is a little disappointing because you obviously you don't have Zelda you don't have all the Super Marios I mean come on so that was screaming for a RetroPie or something um because I tell you, if it had like, at least like the regular 30 games that was on the NES Mini or most of you know most of the the, the popular ones, I probably would have just left it alone. Because actually had good controllers and the, you know actually it was it was pretty good. It wasn't HDMI, but that's fine, no big deal. Um, it actually actually otherwise it's pretty cool. Um, but uh, it, it it just was missing like games that you would really associate with having an NES Mini type system. So I'm going to put the screws back in, and there we go. All right, so we got it back, and we're going to put it in. And uh, by the way, um, one more thing about this. If you haven't aren't familiar with the Restaurant HD, it does have HDMI output. Um, it also has um, composite, and this is important because the gun games do not, even though I have uh, the HDMI, um, I'm converting it to component to put on my Sony PVM. Um, you, I was going to say, you um, still cannot play gun games unless you hook it up. You can still play on this TV gun games, but you can't play them unless you're hooked up into at a composite. It could be, I might be because of the resolution, could be because of the signal. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but it wouldn't work until I hooked it up composite. Uh, um, and this uh, monitor obviously supports composite co component. So what, what I basically do is we output 720p, and I set the games to to 16 by 9. So then what happens is this converts it to 480i, and then it scrunches them, and it looks normal. If I put this on 4.3, even though this is a 4.3 monitor, what happens is it, it, it squishes them, and you you get it you get the um, uh, well, maybe I'll just I'll just show you. <laughs> I can't explain shit. All right, so here I'll I'll put it here. I'll put this on. All right, I'll go there. And then what I'll do is I'll um, just put a game on real quick. And let's see the game come on. All right. So there's your game. I'll just kind of get a little closer. 
and I put the brightness of this monitor down so the so it would look alright on this video. Um, this this uh, the component output from the, the you know the HDMI gets converted to component blah blah blah. It's really pristine on this Sony monitor. This is a Sony PVM studio monitor and. Um, the output's really good, but I had to turn the brightness down because it was like the, the camera picks it up, just washes everything out. So I'm going to um, shut it off. I'm going to convert it to 16 by 9. There's a button in the back of this here that will take it, I'm sorry, but to 4.3. I'm going to convert it to 4.3, which you would think you would be the setting you'd want for this monitor. But do that. Look what happens. That's not cool. So that's what happened. That's the reason why when you have a stock NES Mini, that this is what it looks like. Now, I have a 16x9 thing. That, that's what it would look like on a big screen, basically, without the little curving that's going on here. But basically, that would be what it would look like 16x9. Uh, so um, on 4.3, you're going to get like that because this is the same problem, I have, like I said, with the NES Mini. All the games would, would look like this. It would be squished. So I'm gonna that I'm gonna put it back to 16 by 9. And we're gonna put it back. And there we go. So now it looks right. Alright. So the other thing that comes with this is one controller. Uh, it, obviously you know that looks like all the clones it takes the regular NES controllers, but this is actually a really good controller. This um, is very, very impressive, very impressive controller. Um, and it has some, a little, like, grips in the back. Um, it does have these little, you know, Hyperkin likes to do this with their controls, but uh, whatever. Um, it actually works pretty well. Um, so you can run a game on it. And it will run, like, all these games. No problem. Uh, but I'm exaggerating because there were a few games that were a little, um, a little iffy, but not too many. Uh, the, all the main games were fine. I think the only game that I've seen so far that had like any problems running, and I don't know, I guess running on this uh, is the uh, Freedom Force was was kind of glitchy. I'm not sure if I if I was running it off this cartridge or the other one, but. So, and you hit the reset button, and it goes back to the menu. Um, well, okay, I'll just run some games now. Um, stop talking about all this stuff. And I'll just put it here. So I can get it so it's not... It'll probably change. Sometimes it'll be... Um... All right. I'm just going to kind of run every so many games. I have no idea how to play this game. <laughs> there are a lot of games on here I don't really know how to play. Alright, so we got Adventure Island 1. I'll kind of skip down a little bit. Um, I'm not going to try to run every game. It would take. It would be a very really long video, even if I ran each game for a minute. I'll run some of the main games in a second. What I call the main games, you know, the standard games, I guess you want to call it. Games most people would associate with the NES. Another one, I have no idea. Alright. So, you, if you go up and down on, on the controller, you will um, it'll go up and down. 
And there's no, um, like a lot of RetroPie, you'll have um, trigger buttons that you can kind of advance the menu with, but you just go right and left on the controller and it will it will advance to the next page. So it can go a little faster. Um, and there's Contra, which you would expect to have on, um, on here. Um, Bring it up a little bit. Yeah, see if it's too bright. There we go. I'm just gonna let the demo on that run. You can kind of hear what it sounds like. I I feel like it's pretty accurate. I mean, I you know, it's it, at least uh, when I from when I run the cartridge, I haven't really made a big comparison, but it seemed like it's pretty good. And you hit the reset again. You hit reset. Takes you back to the menu, and you got your Castlevania. You got your Contras. You got your Super Contra. Contra Force, I mean, this really, all these games are games that you would, like, see on a top game list or something. I mean, these are really, you know, very much the games that, um, that you would expect, uh, Excite Bike, you know, this is not a bunch of weird games that you would be like, oh, how the hell did this get on here? There you go, you got Excite Bike. The video's going crazy. Um, it's hard to it's hard to record a CRT, as you can tell. But uh, I'll try to do my best here. I think I'm just going to back this camera up a little bit and see if I can make it not the main item on the screen. <sighs> All right. All right. Do that. All right. Let's see here. Got Double Dragon, Donkey Kong, Doctor Mario, Earth Earthbound, Excite Bike, Xanadu. We got your three fi three Final Fantasy games again. Uh, you can only save one game at a time. You got the Flintstone games. Uh, um, Goonies, Galaga, Gradius, pretty much everything. I think it has the whole NES mini list, or almost all of it. So if you're, like I said, that's why I think it, this cartridge and this, again, this thir cost me 13 bucks for the 143 and one. Uh, no, no shipping charge, no tax. It was straight up $13. Um, the price var the price does fluctuate. I think last time I looked, it was 19 uh, I don't remember if it had shipping or not at that point, but I, 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 it takes, it's, you put it on the slow train though from China. I mean, you're, you know, you might wait a month or two to get, to get this stuff, you know, when you, uh, when you order it, but it'll, it'll show up it, that, uh, the Chinese knockoff of the NES mini took, I think that took like a month and a half to get here, but it, but I got it for 19 bucks. So, you know, I could have went on eBay and got, you know, 30, 40, $50 sometimes. Um... Yeah, so um, I'll run a few games uh, if I can without this monitor going crazy. Uh, run a rampage. This game either. Huh? Ah. 
no. Alright. Put a different game in. Zelda, this one. So if I re go to register, then that's going to be my game. I won't be able to save any other games. We got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Obviously, you got Super Mario Brothers. See how that runs on here. You can't really judge the color by. I'm, I'm, I'm videotaping a CRT. Um, it's not going to look like. It's just not going to be an accurate video uh, capture of this, of, of what's going on on this TV. Uh, I, I'm not sure if the color, what the color palette, if it's accurate or not. I know a lot of, of these carts have uh, different versions of Super Mario Bros. I think this is the original, you know, the American NES version. It seems like it. Uh, I think the other one, the 400 one, had, I, I don't know if it was the Versus version or the um, uh, Play Choice version. I'm not sure, a foreign version, but it definitely looks and sounds a lot different. The 400 one Mario Brothers definitely was not exactly the same. Uh, this is pretty, I'm pretty sure this is the version that would, you would get with your NES, um, but don't quote me on it. Could be a little different. Um, seems to be running the same. I don't see any differences. that and 
Oh, by the way, Tecmo Super Bowl is actually Tecmo Super Bowl. On the 401, Tecmo Super Bowl is bowling. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> but here it's actually the the uh, football game. Um, and it's a funny thing. I, I really, this game came out a little bit like when I was, I think I was overseas in the Army. I wasn't really playing NES uh, for a little while. And this game probably came out. And... I didn't really play a lot, and I, from when I, when I was selling the NES Mini that I, that I modded, and I put Tecmo Super Bowl on it, I got a lot of um, messages asking if it had the the. There's a hack, I guess, where they update the rosters to this and put like 2017. So I had to find the ROM and put it on there. Um, but um, this is just obviously the the standard one that you get, um, which is kind of cool because I like you know Lawrence Taylor. Uh, I played it for. A good like five minutes in a row. I already sacked the quarterback with Lawrence Taylor, so hey, I'm happy. That's really all I needed to see. That was good. Um, so obviously this is not the updated roster <laughs> or teams or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, it's got uh, it's got um, it's got some good games. It's got you've got your Batman games on here. So here we go, Batman for the win. Now I think that that there was an issue with this Batman just now, not with the game because I've played it. I think the intro crashes. It looks like that's what we just saw. I like there. I'm not. I don't know what's supposed to happen at the beginning of Batman, but it almost looks like it wants to have an intro at the beginning. Here I'll run it again, and it just like doesn't do it. And that's probably. I don't know if that's if that would happen if I put the Batman. I don't have a Batman cartridge to put in here, so I don't know if if that same thing would happen if I put a Batman cartridge in here. But um, it definitely happens here. Well, you'll see, like it almost like it wants to do a, an intro. See, it almost like it's like I wanted to have an intro of Batman, but I'm not doing it. Oh wait, here it is. Never mind. Uh, okay, maybe I just hit start too fast. Uh, that's probably what happened. Yeah, maybe I'm just hitting start too fast. I don't know. If you play this game, you'll know if it's doing it right or not. Um, But yeah, this is, uh, I'm not going to pretend that I can play this game at all. Uh, and there's another Batman on here. Apparently there was two Batman. Batman Returns. Oh, that's a Konami game, so it should work pretty well. Uh, I see, press select to get out of that. Ooh, that's an ugly Batman anime. <laughs> oh my god. I guess they're trying to really be uh, accurate to the movie. <laughs> Okay, you can jump and kick like on all these games. I'm just gonna walk away from you. I don't want any of this. Alright, they won't let me go. Alright. And we'll go to. Galaga.
Okay. Plays of steel. Plays pretty good. Plays of steel. I stink. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I had to turn down when I turn try to turn up the brightness, and I have more problems with the with the video tape of the screen. But it's still it's still scrolling. Uh, Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh, I ain't kidding. It is Samurai Pizza Cats. Uh, it looks a little the the. The letters look a little glitchy unless they're supposed to be like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the one that I had uh... the Flintstones God, it just reminds me of punk. Nope, he can't shoe the wall, the cliff, so it's not bonk. <laughs> you can do that though. Oh, he just grabbed. Looks like he just grabs the. Gotta be way up there. Ah, yeah. You know those 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 dinosaurs look remind me of Bunk. Those green ones. Oh, that we be I'm dead. All right. His regular Mario Brothers. Star Wars. Paris 
Strikes Back. Sorry, you don't have any. Choose Force Power. I don't need Force Power. I have a blaster. going deep, deep down. How deep does he go? seen any problems then with like any games on this i was thinking i had a problem with freedom force but i think that's on the 401 because i don't think that's even on here um so in fact what i'll do is i'll really quick i'll throw the 401 on and by the way um i know some people reported um this does not have a death grip i haven't really don't have any big problem getting the cartridges in and out of this it's pretty standard it seems like it goes in just just fine uh, no problems comes out just fine I do hold on to the unit when I'm pulling the games out still because it's still it's you know I like the black the white on black for the menu better than that blue on the 123 and one but that's a small like right um, okay so this has Contra 1 Contra 2 has some Batman, but the, everything's like all over the place as far as the menu. You know how on the 143 and 1, you have all your Contras together. You have all your, you know, um, they, they're in some, there's some order that they're in. And then it's not, uh, it seems like uh, here it's just a, a clusterfuck. I'm sorry, but this, uh, of like wherever, you know, <laughs> um, it seems like there was some repeats. Um there's games that I've never heard of. There's, there's re, I guess, from different regions. Um, and then the naming isn't always right. And it's just, it's just a lot of weird stuff. But, but if you can, if you can dig through all of that, there are good, some good games on here and, and some of them that are not on the 143 and one. Um, so there are, you know, definitely, um, this if you can get i got this for nine dollars this cartridge so you know I, there's no going wrong there are some games that you would need the light uh, to use um i would need to, to change this to um to component output so i can use a light gun type of thing the gyromite would be you would need the uh the robot which is also kind of like a light gun it works the same way the i think that that's i think it is gyromite yeah that's the one that comes with the robot this is test, see? Yeah, that's the, um, that's the seizure test right there. Uh, I passed it, uh, so I'm going to reset it before somebody else gets one. Um, I'll go from the Hero Alliance to where Dad went to. I mean, this is the kind of games that are on here. This, this kind of crap, you know. There's probably somebody out there like, No, that was my favorite game! How dare you! But it's, I'm not one of those people, so <laughs> I'm going to skip that game. 
<laughs> Booty Bear 2. Like, there was a part one of Booty Bear, apparently, and it was so good that they had to make a part two. Yes! Booty Bear's back in all his glory! And he looks exactly like, um, Island Adventure. In fact, this is Island Adventure with a bear. <laughs> so, okay, so there you go. Um, there sure is a story behind that. Somebody understands more than I do, so I'm not even going to try. I don't claim to be an expert at every NES game. I'm just making a video. Um, Warzone, Water Pipes, Star... I couldn't figure this uh, this game out at all. I was like, what is going on here? It's it almost seems like I gotta hit the right thing. I get killed if I hit the bubbles. Let's see. I get killed if I hit that. Let's see. Uh, let me hit other stars. Oh, I didn't die there. Alright. I didn't die there. This reminds me of Ar of uh, Agario. Um... He did get bigger too, so maybe. It does remind me of that. You think it's that kind of game? You know, this might be that kind of... Maybe I gotta get, get smaller stuff. Or just stars, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah! I think this is almost like Agario, where you get... Um, you're looking for smaller stuff. And you get bigger. Oh, check it out. Oh, nope, nope. That was, that was a no-go. Alright, maybe I wasn't big enough for him, or maybe he's just, he kills you no matter what. Alright, that's interesting. Alright. Uh, through man? Like, what is this? Alright. Yeah, this looks really bad. Alright, so... Tiny Toons. So, you got another Konami with the license. They license a lot of games, so there you go. Tiny Toons. Adventures. It's just a standard game. Um... Cuba Revolu Revolution, which they—they're not kidding. It's it's Cuba Revolution. It's kind of like a Rambo. It probably is Rambo. Yeah, I don't want to get too political here, so we're gonna move on. Space, Space, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2 is on here. Uh, again, they're not in order. You get they're all over the place. Um, this might be the one where I... See, I, I just don't recognize most of these games. But again, in 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 here, there, there are a lot of good games. This is, like I said, if you're if it's nine bucks, you can't go wrong. I mean, there's going to be games on here that... You know, if you got this along with the 143 and 1, you're pretty much set. I mean, if you really, to be honest. Uh, it's Donkey Kong. This is Donkey Kong Jr. Math. I don't even know if there's a Donkey Kong Jr. on here, but there's the math is on there. Contra Force, Contra 7, you know, of course, the famous Contra 7, which. Super Contra 7. And it does say Contra 7 in the game. Actually, this looks like Contra. As opposed to Super Contra, which looks nothing like Contra. The colors are all weird, but it looks like, otherwise it looks like Contra. It almost looks like a Contra, but they, they couldn't afford to use that many colors, so... Uh, it's weird. Okay. Okay, so I don't want to make this a whole 
video on the 401 since it's supposed to be on the 143 and one. So I'll stop doing that and go back to the uh, 143 and one. And one game that is, I think, is missing from here that that I would, I think, a lot of people would would be would miss. And I think it's missing on both these um, cartridges is RC Pro Am. Um, I don't see an RC Pro Am anywhere here. It is definitely one of the few things that are, are not on here. So I am going to run it just so you can see it running on the Hype Retron. This is not on either of those cartridges, so you you wouldn't be completely set if you had both of them because you got a Gav RC Pro Am. Come on, that's one of the few games I can actually play a little bit too. By the way, Stop before I start sucking at this game. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna start wrapping it up now. I'm gonna just talk a little quick about the setup here. Um, we have the um, Tron HT. It is connected to HDMI to an HDMI converter, which is converting it to to a component. If you can see there, that box there. This is so I can plug multiple HDMI uh, plugs into it to go into here, and that converts it to component, which goes to the Sony PVM. Uh, I'm not going to go look at the back, but basically it's component. It's um, which is uh, which is a red, green, and blue wire. Not this a little different than RGB, but kind of the same. Um, this monitor supports RGB with sync, supports component S video. Uh, composite. Um, if you add an a, a board, it can also do SDI, which is something I don't need, so we don't have a board for that. Um, this is a 13 inch, it's kind of the size I like to use for retro gaming. It's um, big enough to enjoy the game, but small enough not to be a burden since CRTs are now too big to. Really, I have an arcade, an, ar an arcade, which you'll see in other videos. That had that's where all my CRTs really are. <laughs> this is in my office. Um, so anyway, um, that's the setup. If you have a, a, a CRT with component um, output, I recommend this. Um, I'll put a link to it. Um, I'll put a link to this converter on um, on the video. I think it was under twenty bucks on Amazon. If I, if I recall, um, it works really well. It's hard to tell. You can't tell in this video, but everything I've hooked up um, RGB. Let's say I've hooked up Sega RGB, uh, and um, what, uh, I have a couple. I, I think Super NES with RGB. I didn't do any a lot of RGB modding, so I don't have my my NES is not RGB modded and things like that. But Super NES. Genesis, and I've compared them to like the HDMI output from like a RetroPie and from and converted to go on this monitor, and it really looks good. I mean, the thing that it's it may not be authentic because the resolution's higher. Because right now we're we're doing uh, 480i, 
and it'll say it on here. It'll say here when it when it um yeah. Let's see. I'll go back to it. You'll see it here. It says no interest signal. Then you'll see 1280p. Um, if you can see it, it'll say uh, 1280p signal. The output is 4 uh, 720p. I'm sorry. The output is 480i. So it's 720p input, 480i output. Um, which is still a lot higher resolution than like your average, you know, like the average old school CRT, which is, I think, what, 240? I, or, I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> but it just looks, it looks like a early 90s VGA monitor, like a regular, not super, like, like a regular uh, super VGA monitor, you know, which is definitely still higher than your standard TV. Um, uh, still, but 480i is still considered SD um, input. But, uh, it, I mean, the NES games look it look crystal clear. I mean, it's just it looks amazing. I like it. This is I like using this. So if I have an HDMI output, I'll convert that to component before I'll get any kind of RGB or whatever. But I'm not a purist. So if you're a purist, there's a definitely different ways to go about it. There's you can also NES. You can also do an H. I think there's a way to do an HDMI mod on your original NES, which would be the best way uh, to get HDMI, or if you're going to get RGB or whatever. Uh, it's just a little, little too much, too much for me. I did to just, you know, it's just something I don't want to get involved in. Um, but, uh, I don't, I, I respect anybody who does that cause that's some cool stuff. Um, and there's a couple YouTube guys out there who just, they just talk about pixels and, you know, um, um, different kinds of RGB, uh, SCART and all of that stuff. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. And I've gotten a lot of inf good information from those guys. I think one of those videos is what turned me on to, converting HDMI to component. But anyway, I'm going to stop. This is a, was a pretty long video. Um, but uh, don't forget to support the game makers, um, no matter how you set up your system. Um, buying the old cartridges does not really support the old the game makers unless they're you're buying um, like some homebrews that the where the author is making money as long as he made an original game that's that's probably a really good thing to do in fact Nintendo should start putting out some cartridges for, with all these clone systems and other things coming out they should really start doing that even if just to promote the the um, virtual um, you know the virtual console when they when it comes onto the switch um, it would be really nice for them to have some releases. Like, imagine a Super Mario Brothers four. You know, like for NES. Like that would be like. And I'm sure somebody's out there like somebody made that already. And there's some, you know. But I'm like a like a like a legitimate, you know, um, official. That would be pretty wild. But in any event, um, seriously, the uh, yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> but um, you really you you they really um should support the they yeah, have you should support the game makers and whatever so uh when you have your switch or your wii u or your playstation or xbox or whatever uh for nes you really can't can only you, you can support nintendo by buying super mario run or buy you know or whatever on, on your phone if you don't have any nes consoles if you have a wii u or uh, you can do some virtual console games or 3ds uh, right now on the Switch, you can't really do that. You can buy some Neo Geo games, and I don't know if that... I guess you're supporting Nintendo because you're still buying games from them, but um, with the, until they put out a virtual console on the Switch, which is actually pretty, pretty cool, you can't, you know, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy some good games. Um, and in fact, that's what I'm going to go do now. I'm going to actually play some games instead of talking about them. Alright, take care, bye. More activated. Fuel status marginal.